Steve, things aren't as over between us as I'd like them to be. I've got a bit of a problem. Uh, do you want to sit down? No, Steve. Look, we need to talk about our son. So how's school? You like it? Yeah, it's OK. When he goes. Mum. Uh, it's OK. I didn't exactly love school when I was your age either. Hang in there, though. It gets better. What's that T-shirt? It's a pretty cool design. Alien Workshop. You into sci-fi? Yeah, I suppose. He's crazy about the stuff. Yeah, yeah, I used to be as well, remember? The truth is out there. Well, there's got to be something or someone else out there, eh? Exactly. You know, the Bermuda Triangle, those lines at Machu Picchu. Uh, who built the pyramids? A Hebrew slaves, I think. History teacher. You know, what do they know? Um, so do you want a drink, a coffee, a soft drink, something? Um, yeah. You know, I'm going to be 18 in a few days. Yeah? The day when you'll be legally able to do everything you've been doing anyway. <laughs> so what do you want for a present? Ah, uh, not much. Just to stay here with you. Yeah? That's easy done. You mean it? Not for sure. I'd like to stay here forever. Oh, really? Well, I don't think your parents um, would be too pleased with that. Yeah, stuff them. You and me together. We can do anything. Huh. Mm. Well, what about your birthday? Wouldn't your parents have a party or something planned? All well, right. Mum's run off somewhere and taken Dad's mind with her. Family's a bit of a mess. Yeah, poor baby. Mm. So how come you're different when you're here? In what way? You're with me and not someplace else. Yeah, well, I've had a lot on my mind. You still haven't told me what's wrong. No. Are you going to? You really need to know, don't you? Yes. Well, why? How come you have to know everything about me? Because I love you. No matter what? No matter what. Thanks for doing that, Boris. I wasn't sure I'd have time to get round to it before the place got too busy. Oh, yeah, you've managed before. It feels like a million years ago. Yeah, well, don't say it's like riding a bike. Well, I wasn't going to, but now that I think about it, I've seen you on a bike. Not pretty. Get out of here. <laughs> hey, um, Katie, I've uh, got a bit of a confession to make. Oh, yeah? Yeah. As it's turned out, Fiona doesn't need me to help her move in after all. You mean I psych myself up for this for nothing? No, no. Look, if you're still prepared to do the afternoon shift, I would love an afternoon off. OK. Off you go. Excellent. I appreciate it. Thank you. Awesome. What are you going to do? Oh, you know, probably go home, put my feet up, have a read, basically enjoy the peace and quiet while I can. Well, as soon as Fiona moves in, she's going to be knocking on my door, wanting to do this and borrow that. Boris! No, I am serious. Don't you think if she was going to behave like that, she would have made you move her in the first place? Oh, no, no, no. That's just some kind of ploy. You wait and see. Look, I'm sure she's not going to be that bad. I will remind you of this conversation. OK. Come on, do something. Hey, guys, it's a gift. Oh, oh, careful, don't scratch it. Oh, oh, it's not that heavy, guys, please. Oh, oh. Wait, what? just put it down oh. for a sec, just Keep for a sec. 
What? Fiona, can we please go and get Boris? No, I don't want him to think that I'm dependent on him, all right? I don't care if he thinks that of me. What about you? Hey, I've, I've got no problem with it. Please. Hey, guys. Hey. Do you, um, do you want a hand? No, no, everything's going great, isn't it? Everything's going excellent, don't. Leave it to it. Okay. Oh. Bye. My leg, all right? Up. Well, you've met Rebecca before, and uh, this is Cameron. Hey. G'day. Have you got the day off? Uh, yeah, believe it or not. Uh, any plans? No, well, well, I thought I'd just slip around here for the afternoon and have a bit of a read. Th that's not going to be a problem, is it? No, no, of course not. It's your place, too. Uh, we'll go down in the cafe. You like iced chocolate? Sure. Hey, um, have, have you still got perfume? The book. You said you'd lend oh, it to yeah, me. Oh, yeah, um, it's in my room. Excuse me a sec. Oi, what's the story? What's she doing back here? Well, she sort of wanted to be around when she introduced me to um, my son. You OK? Yeah, it's just a bit hard talking to him about some stuff. We'll give it time. No, I meant with you here. Oh. Do you want some time with him? Mm, yeah, if that's OK. Come to think of it, I do have some shopping I need to do. You broke... You broke into places like robbed them and everything. Yeah, we look for cash first. And then anything else we could get rid of. And depending on how hot it was, we'd either keep it for a while or take it straight to the nearest pawn shop. I can't believe this. Well, you never hurt anyone, did you? I mean, you were never violent. You weren't, were you, Ding? You remember a couple of weeks ago, there was an old guy who died in a robbery at Bondi? Well, that was us. We were robbing him. You killed him. No, oh, it was a shock. He wasn't meant to get hurt. How can... how could you do something like that? He wasn't meant to be home. I tried to help. I called an ambulance. But I'm going to put things right, Terry. This is what I'm trying to tell you. And how are you going to do that? Look, I've got a plan. Look, Terry, I don't want to live like this anymore. I'm not since I've met you. Will you say something, Terry? No, I don't know what to say. Well, there's more. Oh, no. No, I don't... No. You guys hungry? They do a great chicken focaccia down here. Actually, Steve, I'm not going in. Cam wants to spend some time alone with you. Mum! Well, it's true, isn't it? Is that right with you? Oh, that'd be fine. I'd like that. OK. I'll be back in about an hour or so. OK. Well, come on. You want a chicken focaccia, don't you? Yeah. Two chicken for coaches. Thanks, Cody. So why don't we just come out and say what's on our minds? Cool. So why did you want to chat to me? Why do you reckon? Because there's some things you'd be more comfortable saying to me when your mum's not around. Yeah. Like what? Like why do you run off and leave her? Right to it, eh? And why didn't you marry her like you said you would? 
suppose the best way to explain it is, I was afraid. I was afraid I was making a mistake. Why didn't you tell her that instead of bailing on her at the last minute? I was young and irresponsible. And she didn't tell me about you. <laughs> Would that have made a difference? I'd like to be able to say yes, but I honestly don't know. So to hell with me. Yeah. I can. Look, I know it's no excuse, but I was only 18. It's just four years older than you are now. Terry, come on, look. Look, I promise you, things will change. What, you're not going to do it again? Dean, it's not like you stole for survival or anything, is it? Yeah, I know, and I'm not involved with those guys anymore. I'm out of that. I'm going to fix things. Just take me home. What are you doing here? I don't think we're going anywhere. What about Roger? Don't see him anymore. I'm not since seeing Mum split up. Miss him? How's it going? Great. Good. I hope I've given you enough time. Sorry. Let me rephrase that. I hope you've had enough time because we've got to go. Jim and Marlene are expecting us back at their place. You care to go? I'm just going to go to the toilet. Yeah, it's out the back. You've got to go and ask for the key. You've done a good job. So, would you like to see him again? I um, wouldn't mind letting things sink in for a while. You know, it's been a big day. I suppose that's fair enough. I'll tell you what. Um, here's my address. Feel free to pop in. Hey, this is the life. This is very nice. <coughs> oh, mate. Beautiful. This body has not seen the sun in months. No wonder you come here, mate. Hey, hey cut it out. What's she doing here? We were just about to leave. I thought you two said you'd broken up. Yeah, never mind, mate. I didn't believe you in the first place. Thing is, you and me have got some business to talk about. Yeah? What sort of business is that? No, she's cool. What do you want to talk about? Look, mate, things are getting a bit hot. It's time for us to bail out of here, head up north. Need some cash first. Right, so what do you got planned? Another job. What else? A job. And what sort of job? Stealing, Tez. Breaking. Illegal entry. You got a problem with that? Look, I know just the place. And the keys won't be a problem. Nice one. Have a look at that, Dave. I told you to cut it out. I thought you said you didn't want to do this anymore. Terry, I've got to go along with him. And so do you. We really better go. Uh, speak to you soon. Yep. All right, see you, Steve. See you, Cam. Oh, man. Seems like a nice kid. Yeah. He thinks I'm his dad. Sorry? Rebecca reckons I'm the father. No. I don't know. You okay? I don't know. Alright, down we go. Down, down. To your left, Vinny. Left, left. Middle, middle, middle. 
You might have to help change it around. Again. Look, just this last time, I promise, OK? Yeah, that's what you said the last, last, last time. Sorry, come on. Oh. Up we go, come on. Up, up. Uh, no, not so far up. A bit... No, up a bit more, sorry. Get to work out there. Well, what do you think? What? Nah, the table. So, oh. Come on! Thank you! Well, some people, hey? What are you guys looking at? Back to your room. Go, go! Yeah. So anyway, I reckon we get the job done and then we'll be gone by tomorrow. What's the rush? Well, let's just say that Bondi is not exactly the safest working environment at the moment. Yeah. Hmm. I suppose you want to bring her. Yeah, of course. I don't want to go up north. She'll be cool. Uh, actually, no, it's not a good time. Be cool. You know, we wouldn't even be having to do this job if we'd done better out of your olds. It's hardly worth Dino's trouble. That was you. Forgot to mention it, did he? Oh, no. And he did it all by himself, too. What did you tell her that for? Oh, what's the matter, mate? You're worried she won't like you anymore, eh? What are you, under the thumb? Stop, stop, listen to me. That was you! You broke into my house! Look, I had to, honey. Go to hell. Look, if I didn't, one of the others would have, okay? Oh. I had to do it. Oh, what? Because you're part of a gang? Yes. Look, they said if I didn't do it, they couldn't guarantee that no one would get hurt. And what about my mum, Dean? You hurt my mum! Yeah, look, I know. It was an accident. I didn't mean to. Look, Terry, I don't blame you for hating me. But if you want to get out of here in one piece, horse has to think that you're not going to cause any trouble. Okay, so once you get back to the city, you can do what you like. I'm never gonna forgive you for this. When did you find out? Today. Oh, God, Steve. I liked him. What did you talk about? Oh, we just asked each other questions, what we do, what we like to do. He did want to know why I didn't stick around and marry his mother. Well, yeah, can't blame him for asking that. I know. Told him what I could, that I was young and irresponsible. But what, you didn't tell him everything? I didn't tell him what my best mate told me the night before the wedding. Rebecca was cheating on me. That's the real reason I didn't show up. Well, was this friend telling you the truth? He had no reason to lie. Oh, God, Steve, I'm sorry, that's awful. Oh, I'm over it. But this thing with Cameron... How can I be sure he's my son? She wants me to see him again to develop some sort of relationship, but... I mean, what sort of father-son thing is it going to be if the thought that's going through my mind is... Is he really my son? They've been sussing this place out for a while. It's in the same building as Terry's. The guy who runs a drop-in centre. Oh, Mr. Tough Guy with the goatee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. He's a soft touch. Keys, no problem. 
So I'll go down, I'll suss it out and get it set up and I'll give you a call when she's asleep. And we can do the job together? Like in the old days. Yeah. <laughs> hey Terry, come on, we'll head whoa, on. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's she going for? Well, why shouldn't she? Because we don't need her. I reckon she stays here until we head up north. I have to pick up a few things. What do you need to pick up? Hey? Huh? What do you need that you can't buy on your way up there? Oh, what's the problem, Tezza? Don't you want to hang out here with your mates? Well, that's it. We're done. I'll go and get the door. Hey, Boris! Hey, come in. Uh, this isn't a bad time, is it? Of course it isn't. You're welcome any time. You know that. Hey, guys. Hey. The housewarming present for the workers. Uh, thanks. Thanks. Well, why don't you come and see my room? Yeah. Watch out, mate. Ha ha. Ta-da! What do you think? Well, it's, it's very you. Isn't it? Why don't you sit down? Um, look, Boris, I'm really sorry about the noise before. Oh, no problem. No, you know, I mean, I don't know, maybe you're right. Maybe we are going to get in each other's faces too much, you know? I mean, I already know when you're coming and when you're going. Yeah, and next thing you'll have a glass pressed up against the floor having a listen. No, Boris, I'm serious. Yeah, I know. And so am I. And so is this. Yeah. What is it? Why don't you open it? <laughs> it's from Tiffany's. Mm, goes with your poster, Audrey. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <gasps> oh, it's a key ring from Tiffany's. Wow. Oh, thank you. I love it. You didn't have to, but hey, I love it. This is so cool. Yeah, well, <laughs> I did some thinking and I haven't even said welcome. I guess that's my way of saying it. Thank you. I'm scared, Dean, and I don't want to stay here on my own. Now, can't you and I just go? Look, Terry, it's just for a few hours. A few hours, with this lot. Dean, they hate me. I'm not one of you guys. Yeah, look, Terry, I promise you. Look, it's just for... It'll be fine, OK? I don't want to stay here. Look, he's not going to hurt you. It's... He knows that you're my chick, and... So everything will be fine. Your chick. Dean, when all of this is over, I don't ever want to see you again. Mm. 